So today I'm going to try to defend my honor by making you guys, well, I'm making it for me, but we can pretend it's for you guys, some guacamole. And I've made this before and I usually don't screw it up most of the time. It's hopeful that this doesn't involve any microwaves or flour or anything. So I'm going to make a big old batch. Here we go. Obtain avocados. I was at this Mexican restaurant and I'm going to try this trick. They basically take a big knife and they chop it in here and they remove the seed just by being awesome. I missed. It's like so off center. Plan B when that doesn't work because you're not a professional. Spoon. So you just spoon it out there. You just peel off the edges. It's like picking off nail polish. I will say that I do feel like I'm cheating a little bit because I make this all the time. And by all the time I mean like once or twice a year. So that's how much I cook. So your hands generally get all messy. So it's nice if you remember to get like a paper towel or something. I don't, so burb. In other news, moms are the best because they can get you things so that you don't get the kitchen messy. Try again. I just really don't want to cut my fingers off. Maybe you like twist it? Oh, I broke the seed. all in one piece. Got it! It took like four tries, but it totally worked! So usually I just use one big white onion, but instead I'm gonna use these three small ones because that's what we had and I didn't think to ask. Deal with it. I don't know how to do onions. I think you're supposed to do it with a big ass knife, so that's what I'm gonna try and do. Okay, so then once you got it all in these tiny little slicey things, they look like that. Oh, they're not supposed to. Then you just chop them up really, really tiny. So. Like the worst way to cut onions ever. Ah, did not cut myself, but I did have blade connect with my nail. Turning that into a sexual joke. That wasn't a challenge, that was more like a... I know, I said the words big and mouth in the same sentence. It's hilarious. The bad thing about this is that like with mug brownie, it only took like five horrendous minutes to make. And with this, it takes like 30 minutes to make. That's like really uneven. Cutting onions is also like volleyball players. When you do things, you make grunting noises. Okay, so like thank god the onions are done. So you've got your avocados and your onions. At this point is when I like to start mashing everything up. Okay, so I'm a little dumb and I forgot to press record. Get a masher. I made a joke about it being a bent spatula, but it's actually a masher and it works really well. And then you add medium salsa after you get it mashed up. And then you use the rest of this jar, because there's only a little left. And then you attempt for like 20 minutes to try and get this jar open. That's what you missed in real life. That's what you missed. And then you continue to struggle, and then you get it. Okay, cool. So popping noise means success. And man, I took so many good jokes. I was so proud of myself. Hey, Shelly, is there a, like a measuring way to do this to make it look measured right? No, there's not. You just look at it and go until it looks not malicious. And if it looks not malicious and it doesn't taste that way, then just keep adding things. But we're gonna do the chip test now. Chip test. Chip 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 test test now. Chip 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 test test now. Which is. Get a chip, put guacamole on it, and stick it in your mouth, and hope that it tastes good. I know, I know, guacamole. Yeah, actually I like that a lot. So last thing, you get a little lemon juice. Probably should use fresh. Oh, this is like a big hole on top. Gotta stop saying things like that. Sake zest. Just, just for zest's sake. Just to make it a little zesty. This has been another fantastic and wildly successful episode of Cooking with Shelly, where this time I didn't burn myself or cut my fingers off. I think we just leveled up. So if you guys have anything else that I can make that seems like within my skill level, um, I'm moving, and I'm moving to a place where mashers do not exist, and then I have like two knives and five forks. Let me know what else I can make, because I would do that. 
for you, Internet. For you.